if you are an older woman or as I like to say, a more mature woman, someone who is over the age of 40 and you are experiencing fine lines and wrinkles and some hyperpigmentation and age spots and all the things, and you are wondering what is the best makeup for older women, I have the answer for you. I am Jo Ellen. I am a certified makeup artist and licensed esthetician, and I love helping women look and feel beautiful. We are all different. We come in different sizes, shapes, colors, skin types, and we all have beautiful features. And so I love helping women feel confident in their makeup routine so that they, their beauty is enhanced and not just covered up. So the best makeup for older women, women who have that aging mature skin is cream makeup. Now we have powders out there, we have liquids out there, and those were great up until a certain point. Powders will kind of settle in your fine lines and wrinkles, enhancing your age. Also, the liquids are really heavy and also cakey and also enhances your age and it doesn't look your best. Now, cream makeup is awesome because it is buildable. You can apply a light, a medium, or full coverage depending on your needs and preferences. So it's very versatile. It also really melts into your skin so it becomes one with your skin. It will move with those fine lines and wrinkles and your smile lines and your laugh lines and your crow's feet. And it will really just look more natural. It will give you the coverage that you need without that heavy cakey appearance. And it just gives you a nice, healthy, dewy glow. Now, if you have oily skin, you might be thinking, I don't need more dewiness to my skin. That's okay, you can still use cream makeup, but then just set it with a light layer of powder. So let me show you how cream makeup works on women that have older skin and how it really enhances your beauty. Now this cream makeup is my favorite because it is called 3D foundation. So you notice I have six different colors in my compact right here. Most foundations is like you get a bottle and you put it all over your face. <laughs> and now what you've done is you've just erased your, your natural shadows and your features. And you have now created a blank canvas. Yes, you've evened out your skin tone, but then you've also like erased all the natural dimension on your face. And so this is 3D foundation. Every one of these tins is um, foundation and it's a different color. So you apply it. So it's like comes in an individual tin in a magnetic compact. You apply it on certain parts of your face in one layer, and then you get that coverage, but then you also get the dimension and you look youthful and you look more alive and less like a ghost and less like you are just one flat look. Now we have, let's get up close and personal. Every woman has different colors on their face. Let's take my face for instance. My chin and my nose is a bit darker than the rest of my face because that's where the sun naturally hits and I get more sun on my chin and on my nose. Underneath my eyes, I have dark circles. <laughs> Hello? And I have some, I have some age spots over here and I have some redness. Like we have lots of different colors on our face. And so one color of makeup is not going to fully give us the coverage that we need. It might look patchy in some areas because I'm putting a lighter color on a darker spot and it's just not gonna give the coverage it needs. It's gonna make it look textured and ghostly. And we don't want that. We want to look our best. Even though we are aging, doesn't mean we want to look like we're old. And so cream makeup, especially 3D foundation, will help you look youthful. So let me show you how you can apply this and how it truly helps you look your best. You're gonna get compliments when you start wearing this makeup and women are gonna be like, wow, what makeup are you wearing? And you can tell them the goodness about this. Okay, so there's lots of different ways to apply makeup. There's not one right way. I feel like makeup is very um, fluid in that you get to interpret how you want to apply it. The main thing is you're wearing the right colors and you're applying it in the right spots. The technique in which you apply it really doesn't matter. It's a matter of preference. So I'm gonna I'm gonna apply one side of my face with my fingers, with my clean fingers, and I'm gonna apply the other side of my face with a brush. And I will just show you the versatility and the application. So what we're gonna start with is a color corrector. Now, not every woman needs this, but 
I personally do because I do have the dark circles underneath my eyes and I do have some broken capillaries around my nose and my chin is darker. So I'm going to use this color right here as my color corrector. Now, most women think you go in with a light color to um, brighten a dark spot, but it's not going to give you the coverage you need. That darkness is still going to like poke through. So you really need a dark color to color correct first. And your color corrector might be a different color corrector than I'm using because you have a different skin tone or you have different needs. And so that's a beautiful thing about working with me as your personalized makeup artist is I offer makeup help totally free. It's a cust it's a complimentary complimentary service that I offer to my customers. I help them know what colors are going to look great on them. I help them with their makeup application process. I answer questions. I give them product recommendations all for free because I want you to look your best. So now, now see, I'm kind of like, it's kind of disappearing, but don't worry. We will go back over um, with a lighter color to really brighten those areas. So first you have to color correct. And now I did say that you apply this in one layer, but when you color correct, you do need a layer um, I'm so I'm doing the color corrector first underneath my eyes, but then I will go over with a light layer in a little bit um, to brighten. So in some spots, it's okay to layer, um, but just do light layers so that it's not heavy and cakey. So I just did a light layer of um, that color corrector first with my brush. I could have used my finger. But this is where I'll, I'll use my finger for the other part. Okay, so next I have two foundation colors. I have a darker one and I have a lighter one. I always recommend at least two of these colors because we have different colors on our face. Again, like I said, my chin and my nose is darker. Maybe your neck is darker than your face. And so instead of making your face look like you have a bobblehead, you wanna make sure that you have a darker foundation down here so it matches your darker neck and then a lighter foundation up here where your face is lighter. Or we have different colors throughout the year, sometimes our skin may be darker in the summertime because we've been out in the sun, whereas in the wintertime it's lighter and so we need a lighter foundation. Or if you wanna do lighter color underneath your eyes. So it's just like so versatile that you can mix and match and this let the foundation colors work for you. Um, also, like let's say you're in between the two colors, you can use both and create your own custom color. So it's really a great thing to have at least two foundation colors so that you can get exactly what you need. So I'm gonna start with finger painting on this side. I'm just doing light spots. It can be messy because we're gonna blend and cream is so beautiful at blending. So I'm just doing light spots on this side. And I'm gonna go with light color right here and on the outer corner just to create some lightness. Okay, so there we have my foundation. Then I'm gonna go in with contour. Now, don't be afraid of contour. Contour is just adding shadow and shape back onto your face. And we wanna focus on your cheekbones and apply as much or as little as you want. I start at my hairline at my ear and I follow right along or right underneath my cheekbone. And I stop about right at the corner of my eye. Okay, so just apply that right there and then right along my hairline because just like a ball and you, if you had a ball and you shone um, some light on it, the upper part of the ball would be shadowed. Your face is very similar. You want to have those natural looking shadows on your face so that it looks more youthful and alive. And then you can also take that contour and put it right along your jawline to give you that chiseled look. And also do it right along the side of your nose. I always like to start with a little bit and then I can always add more if I need to. And then I'm gonna take this blush color and put it on the apples of my cheek, kind of right above my contour. And then this also doubles as lipstick. So that's pretty cool. And you can also use it as eyeshadow. So Lots of options, okay? So that's on one side of my face. I did it with my fingers. I'm just gonna let it sit while I do, um, I apply on this side of my face. 
um, with a brush so you can see the difference. Um, actually, let's go ahead and blend first. So then you can see a side by side, a before and after of no makeup versus makeup. So I'm just gonna start by taking my clean brush and blending the light colors first. Because it's cream makeup, it just blends so beautifully right into your skin, it's like butter. So I'm taking the lighter colors first and blending that. And then I go into the darker colors. And because I, I put a very minimal amount of product on my face, I really don't have a lot of product on my brush. So I don't, you don't have to worry about it transferring to other parts of your face that you don't want it to be. And you just kind of like stipple, pat, press, brush up, whatever motion feels good to you. Okay, do you see how beautiful that and, and flawless that looks? And if you feel like, oh, maybe you went a little too low with your, with your contour, you can go back over and you can kind of clean it up to create a nice, pretty look. But how beautiful is that cream makeup? It just blends so beautifully. And now I have not just one flat color on my face, I now have some dimension. I have that contour on my cheekbone. I now have a little bit of flush on my on my cheek and I have some dimension up here on my forehead. So it's so cool how the 3D foundation just really helps your face look alive. And if you feel like you just need more coverage, then you can go back over and just add a little bit more as you need. Okay, so that's using the finger painting method. You apply with your fingers and then you blend with a brush. Let's do the side with, um, applying and blending with the brush. So I'm going to start with, let's go ahead and start with the light color first. Again, it doesn't really matter. There's no wrong way. And um, like time which you place. You can do contour first. You can do high, your foundation first. You can do your blush first. Like there's, it's okay. You can do whatever you want to do. Now I'm going to go in with um, the darker foundation and do it on my lower, lower bit. And I'm keeping this part clear right here. Some women like to do their, um, their contour first because then it helps them know where to place their, their highlight, aka their foundation. So, you know, do it. You what you prefer. I've done this so much that I know exactly where my contour is going, going. So I, I can do my foundation first. Okay. So I'm just putting that on right there. And then I'm also going to do on my forehead, to add that shadow up there. I'm going to take some of the foundation up into my forehead. And then I'm going to take my blush. I like to apply it with my finger anyway. Um, I feel like I get just direct placement and then I blend it with my, my brush. There you have a really beautiful application. Now at this point, if you're like, hi, I wish it was a little bit more blended, um, you can take a makeup sponge but here's the thing, you don't wanna use it dry, you wanna make sure that it is wet. So run it under water and then just squeeze it in and out until it gets double in size and then really wring it out so that it's not, there's no water dripping from it. So it's nice and bouncy, but not soaking wet. And then you can take that and bounce it on your face to really blend in the makeup and marry the makeup to your, to your skin so it is one. It's like a second skin. And there we have like a really flawless finish. Okay, but let's say that um, as most women, because this happens to everyone, let's say that you applied some makeup underneath your eyes to cover your dark circles, but then throughout the day, you're noticing that it's creasing. That's totally normal because our skin moves. And no matter what makeup product you put underneath your eyes, it will crease. End of story. Whenever you put product underneath on your face, 
that is not a, like like a moisturizer, if it's like a makeup, it will crease throughout the day. Some crease more than others. It just depends on the product that you're using and also um, the amount. So less is more. But here's a little trick to really help it from um, creasing a lot. So you take your sponge and take a setting spray and spray it once and then bounce it right underneath your eye. And that will really press in that makeup and help it stay all day. You might notice a little bit of creasing, but a significant less amount than if you didn't use it with the setting spray. Okay, so now the last little thing that we've done. So we did our we did our um our highlight, our contour, we did our blush, and now this one right here is called your illuminator. In other companies, it's called your highlighter. It's the same thing. It basically adds a youthful pretty glow to your face. So you want to add your illuminator right on top of your cheekbone, kind of like a C shape right on top of your cheekbone, kind of into your eye area. And then when the sun or the light hits it, you just have this really pretty healthy glow. It's not a little girl sparkle. It's truly like a Greek goddess. She is glowing from within a glow. And it's just a nice addition to elevate your look. You can also, if you want to do it a little bit um, on the bridge of your nose, you can to kind of slim it. You can also do it on your Cupid's bow. You see how it just adds that really pretty glow. You can also do it underneath your brows for part of your, your eyeshadow. You can even do it on the middle of your your lips for your lipstick. So many great ways to use this makeup. So cream makeup is the best, hands down, makeup for older women. It will just really blend into your skin beautifully as we age and we get those fine lines and wrinkles. It will give you the coverage that you need. It will cover up that melasma or the age spots that you have. Um, depending on the colors that you put. So if you need help figuring out what makeup colors are gonna look best on you, make sure to fill out my makeup form and I will work with you one-on-one -on -one to help you know what makeup products and what makeup colors and application is gonna be the best for you. Now, one other tip. So I just applied cream makeup all over my face and it's great, I love it so much. But let's talk about lips for a second. As we age, our lips get a little bit thinner, maybe a little bit wrinklier, or we just feel like we have to wear lipstick in order to look our best because our lips kind of fade their color over time. And so you don't feel like you look yourself if you don't have some color on your lips. But here's the problem though. Um, this color that I just put on my lips is great. I love it, but it's not gonna be long lasting. This is gonna wipe off in a matter of a few hours, especially if I'm eating or drinking or talking or licking my lips. It's just gonna fall off. If you want to have a beautiful lip color on your lips all day long and not have to worry about reapplication and it rubbing off on your teeth or it coming off when you kiss somebody or drinking out of a straw or a cup, then the best solution for you is lip sense lipstick. If you don't know about this, you have got to try, give it a try. Um, I already have something on my lips, so I'm not going to show you how to use it. I do have some tutorials on how it is amazing, but basically you put three thin layers on your lips and then you top it with a gloss and then your lips will be that color all day long. It just is a perfect long lasting lipstick. It can, you can kiss, you can talk, you can drink, you can eat, you can laugh, you can all the things for hours and your lipstick will stay. So between the cream makeup and a long lasting lip color, you are going to look your best. You're going to look youthful and you're going to look your best. And that's what we want. We want as women to not hide our beauty and not to let our beauty be, um, taken down by the way that we're, we're looking because of the, our, the, our aging process, but we really want to help us look our best and really enhance the beautiful features that we were born with. So use those tips to look and feel beautiful. Fill out my form if you would like me to help you one-on-one, -on -one, and then also email me if you have questions too. 
you are beautiful just the way you are. Embrace the aging process, embrace your beauty, and take good care of yourself because I truly believe that when you feel good, you do good. Ciao!